Good morning and welcome to your Saturday morning, early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum, here with some words of wisdom to start your day. And as you can see, I'm not at home. I'm at my sister's, got my painting clothes on, so excuse the splotches. <laughs> got work to do today. So, hope you're all off to a good start for this fine Saturday. And as always, let us start with some breathing. So in through the nose, out through the mouth. I wonder who will be the first person to pop on today. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Excuse the lighting in here. I look like I have huge bags under my eyes. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Settling into right here, right now. Cheryl, you're the first one this morning. Welcome. Congratulations. Yay. I don't think there's any prize for it, but what the heck. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. So the deck I brought along down to my sisters is the Nature Portals deck by Bruce and Carol Malner, inspiration through the peace and beauty of nature. And our card for today is a lighthouse. I pretty much guarantee that's a Michigan picture. We'll see, not sure. <laughs> but beautiful little lighthouse, kind of in the middle of nowhere it looks like. So let's see what our message is. Fear is illusion, love is reality. Fear is illusion, love is reality. Boy, if we could all grasp that, wouldn't it be fantastic? So here are our words. Darkness is the absence of light. To overcome the darkness, you only need to turn on the light. Similarly, fear is the absence of love. To overcome a fear, replace it with love. Are you afraid of something in nature? Right about now, I don't think people are too afraid of nature. I think we're more afraid of a whole lot of other things that are going on. Change your perspective and find something to appreciate or love about it. Good morning, Cindy. Welcome, glad you are here. Discover its important role as part of the wholeness of life. I also think a cool thing to do is figure out what are your connections to this thing, whatever it is. So let's say you have a fear of snakes. What's your connection to snakes? What do snakes do for you? Other than scare you, because that's all in your head, right? Fear is illusion, love is reality. What do snakes do for you? Well, the, for me, I love, good morning, Joniel. Welcome, welcome. I saw vacation pictures that looked awesome. Um, snakes, in my world, I think they're fascinating. I like watching them move. I like looking at all the different colors. I like learning about their habitat, etc., etc. They're industrious little beings. So, yeah, people who are afraid of snakes. And really, there's nothing to be afraid of. The vast majority of them are just rodent catchers. How wonderful is that? Don't kill off the rodent catchers. It's a good thing. Keeps the the mice and the voles and the rats and all, their, all the other little rodents in check. So appreciate that about them. What can you appreciate about the things that you fear? It can kind of help that turn things around. I like snakes too, I think they're awesome. So, but again, I want you to pay attention to this point at the beginning about light and dark. No amount of darkness can snuff out the light. No amount of darkness can snuff out the light. Yet one tiny pinprick of light can pierce the darkness. There's the power. Think about that. Focus on that. Don't over, over fear the darkness. There's a balance there. Spiders, there's another one. Yes, they're industrious little beings too. If you have a fear, try reading Charlotte's Web. It's kind of helpful. <laughs> and if you have a fear of pigs, it'll help with that too. So our quote is the... the Famous Neil Donald Walsh quote, fear is an acronym in the English language for false evidence appearing real. False evidence appearing real. So what can you do to approach the things that you have fears about? So I'll share one with you. I don't think she'll mind if I share, but my friend Diane has a fear of birds. Instilled in her by her big sisters who when she was three made her watch Alfred Hitchcock's the birds. What the hell, ladies? What were you thinking? Anywho, a lot of fear of birds. So the other day, we met down at the park, 
and we're sitting on the swing, and all of a sudden, the geese are all around us. And Diane has sandals on, and one of them, a juvenile, decides that her toes look like worms, and so was biting at her toes. And I could feel the edge of freakout beside me. She handled it beautifully, she dealt with it. Hopefully that created some less fear of birds in the process. The flapping of the wings, I think, is still, good morning, Carolyn, glad you're here. Still kind of a freak out for her. But we all have that stuff, right? The things that we're afraid of that um, we need to handle. So I have one. Um, I have this spot in my nose that the, the vessel is too close to the surface. So pretty frequently I get nosebleeds. So someone aff offhandedly told me, well, they probably just need to cauterize it. And I said, did you hear what you said? They're gonna stick a red hot poker up my nose and burn the flesh. Well, they'll, they'll numb it up first. Did you hear what you just said? They're gonna put a needle up my nose. <laughs> so I'm having a freak out about it. Good morning, Gwen, glad you're here. Um, I made the appointment, I made the appointment. Am I happy about it? No. Will I face it? Yes. Fear is illusion. Love is reality. So I will pour myself into love. I will pour myself into loving that there are dermatologists who do this stuff. I will pour myself into loving that there's actually something that can be done about this. I will pour myself into being pleased that I no longer have to worry about, okay, do I have a box of Kleenex with me everywhere I go, etc. So overcome those fears. Face those fears, little at a time, baby step. Doesn't mean you have to be there. Fear of the unknown, okay, that's a good one. So then I would imagine shining the light into the unknown. The Martin Luther King Jr. saying, you don't have to see, thank you, Cindy, for posting that, the whole staircase. Good morning, Peggy, glad you are here, good to see you. You don't have to see the whole staircase, just take the next step in faith. We need practice with our faith, right? All of this stuff that provokes fear in us is really an opportunity to practice our faith and trust. Look at it that way, and it becomes easier to face the things that we fear, all right? Fear is illusion, love is reality. And again, don't waste your time thinking about the fearful stuff. Focus your attention on the love instead. Focus your attention on the love instead. What do you want? Don't waste your time. Good morning, Trish, glad you are here. Don't waste your time on what you don't want. Focus on what you do want. There's that light. Piercing the darkness, right? That's what we're focusing on. Focus on the light. Don't overthink the darkness. That is your mission for today. Let's see how it goes. Have an awesome day. I'm gonna go paint and do all kinds of other fun things, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Remember, you are capable of far more than you think you are. Bye-bye.